Hi there, I'm Michael Underwood, dad of two and celebrity MasterChef finalist, and welcome to my Scoff Food series, Cooking for Kids. Today, a lovely little recipe, nice and simple, straightforward, and it tastes amazing. Cauliflower with cheese and bacon. If you've seen any of my other recipes, you know I love to disguise vegetables in recipes where possible, because it means my children get to eat more and they don't just have them plain on a plate. So this recipe is ideal for that. And also, who doesn't like cauliflower cheese with bacon? Uh, so just got some cauliflower here, which I've chopped up and I've got on the boil. I'm now I'm gonna get the bacon done, which I've got in here. Just chopped it up, just rough chunks, doesn't have to be precise at all, and then fry it in the pan. Now it's up to you how long you cook this for. You can keep it as it is right now, you know, not too cooked, not too crispy, if that's how you like it. Personally, I like to have a little bit of crispiness. So you put uh, the bacon to one side, that's all ready to go for later on, we bring it all together. Uh, now it's the white sauce. Now you've got lots of options here, I say lots, you've got two options here. You can either buy your white sauce or make it yourself. Um, I like to make my own. Uh, so what you need to start with is some butter, and some flour, even with both. So uh, 50 grams, 50 grams, and you put it in. Basically, this is gonna make a thick paste, which um, chefs call a roux. I just call it a thick paste. Um, but it's the basis of the white sauce. Melt the butter first, and then uh, once that's melted, you can add the flour. Oh, and don't forget, you can get all the ingredients of this recipe online on our website. Get your milk and put that into a separate saucepan. So I've got 500 milliliters of milk. Pour that straight in, nice and simple. Then grab yourself an onion. With this, just chop it into quarters. So again, I've peeled it down like that. Yeah, and just here. And then get yourself some whole cloves. And with these, just want to pierce them into the side of the onion. And what you're really doing is flavoring the milk. Just drop those clove side down into the milk, like so. And you just want to slowly bring this to a simmer. Butter's ready to go now, that's nice and melted, so I can add the flour to that. So in it goes. I just want to give that a stir until it starts to form a thick paste. The great thing about white sauce is you can use it for lots of different recipes, not just this cauliflower cheese. You can use it for lasagna or for the base of your carbonara, or maybe you've got another way that you can use the white sauce. If so, let us know uh, by sending us a message on Twitter, we're at Scoff Food. Okay, so the butter and the flour have combined, so we've got the thick paste ready to go. The milk is all ready as well, so we can remove the onions and the cloves. That's the last bit of onion. Now I'm gonna pour the milk into a measuring jug, just makes it easier to mix in with the roux. And then you just need to gradually pour the milk in. So that's it, everything's pretty much ready to go. Uh, the cauliflower's all done, the white sauce is nice and ready. I had to add a bit more milk to mine, so you may find you will have to as well. Also season it with a little bit of salt. Taste it, see what you think, add a little bit of salt to season. Uh, bacon we cooked earlier, we're ready to piece it all together. So I've got myself a dish here. Pop that cauliflower in. Right, now we get to add the bacon, which is a really nice bit. So let's sprinkle that all over. And then once your white sauce is in position, you can add your cheese. And there you go, it's all ready to cook. So uh, you wanna pop this in the oven about 180 degrees for about well, 10 to 15 minutes. Keep an eye on it. What you want is the top to go nice and golden. And while that's cooking, why don't you check out some of my other recipes, including the ones where I disguise vegetables. So the courgette spaghetti, for example, is a great one. Check it out and don't forget to subscribe. And there you have it, all cooked and out of the oven, and it smells amazing. Uh, so I'm gonna spoon a little bit of this out, I think. Get in there. Oh, look at that. There you go. My cauliflower with cheese and bacon. Try it yourself, and don't forget, if you do, take some pictures and post them on our Instagram page, and we'll take a look. And I'll see you soon for another top recipe.